welcome back to my channel my name is jay serene i am in sleepwear because i'm doing a vlog for you guys so i just woke up it's probably like eight o'clock right now um i just woke up and we have a lot to do today we have a lot to do today honestly you guys um and i'm, I'm gonna do like a little to-do list so that i can like get stuff done um i have to do stuff for the business i have to take some products i have to do some admin work um i have to practice and study spanish today i have to go grocery shopping and then um i also have to what was something else that i had to do today i forgot what it was there was something else that i had to do hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, and then I have to record a video. <laughs> I have to record another video. So there's a few things that I'm doing today. I'm going to record a get ready with me. Um, I'll probably have that video up like before this video. So I'll probably do the get ready with me and then this vlog. But this is going to be a, um, a day in my life as a small business owner. I wanted to show you guys products that I make, doing admin work, um, how I make labels and stuff like that just doing like my day-to-day -day. so back here is my work shelf I have like a bunch of stuff in these different bins um I want to get just like one solid bin but some of them are more spacious than others sorry if you see like a tail this is my cat okay that's my cat but um I have like a bunch of stuff that I organized yesterday. I literally went through everything and I organized as best as I possibly could. Um, I cleaned a bunch of stuff out. Um, I organized stuff so that everything is like in a respective, like, so like for this, this is like all of my tapes. This is all of my printer, printer paper. Um, this is like my measuring stuff or like thermometers that I have when I'm checking temperatures of stuff. So this was like all of the equipment, I guess, that you use for like packaging, but also um, formulation. So I put all that in here. And then in this one, in this, in this bin. So I have like the stuff that I use to make face washes. Um, I have like essential oils in here. I have um, different different oils, preservatives in here. So I just organized everything. And then I kind of organized my shelf a little bit, but some stuff is gonna come down from this shelf and I'm gonna have to put some stuff um, away and like I'm gonna have to like, clear out that shelf because I'm gonna create so many body butters today you guys i have so many body butters to create um today on our to-do list we have to create the tropical beach body butter um warm vanilla body butter and then my scent free body butter i sanitized a bunch of containers and um and they were out to dry yesterday so i sanitized everything and they were out to dry so they should be ready to go um, I have so many sanitized containers that have not been used, so, um, I'm gonna go in and do probably, like, a good amount for all of them. I have probably, like, three warm vanilla scents right now, and then I have, like, three tropical beach scents right now, and that's not enough for myself. I need about, like, 10 to 15 of each scent that's what i'm like aiming for 10 to 15. yeah if you guys don't know i'm just over here ranting but if you guys don't know i am a small business owner i own shaleen beauty okay shaleen beauty is a skincare brand um so it is a vegan and natural skincare brand the link will always be down below in the description box if you guys want to browse or i'll have some type of picture floating on the screen so you guys can look um today is january 14th and by the time i upload this video we probably won't have the sale because the sale ends tomorrow so we won't have the 25 um the 25 was it 25 or 20 percent i think it's 25 25 um percent off we probably won't have that sale anymore so i won't even input that in here in this video 
um but let's just share with you guys a little bit on what i'm about to do for today um i'm about to get ready i'm about to get dressed um because i have to record a get ready with me so i have to record that video so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna get myself together brush my teeth wash my face take a shower and then get everything set up to record that video and then i'm gonna come back and um start the process of either i'll probably start i'll probably do the body butters first and then i'll go back and i'll do some admin work because i need to make labels um i need to make some labels um so i want to do that like after when the body butters are like setting into the container um so yeah i want to do some labels so i'm super super excited i'm super glad that you guys are joining me for today it's going to be a busy day but we're excited so let me go take a shower all right guys so let's go ahead and make this body butter together first off i'm starting with my heart butters i am starting off with cocoon butter and mango butter cocoon butter contains emollient properties as well as being an excellent source of vitamin e for the skin and mango butter is a softer butter it is amazing for repairing damaged skin and nourishing the skin to help protect for future from future damages these two butters work best together for me in this form and I go ahead and I just melt them down and then I do a flash type of freezing for about like 45 minutes and then I just go ahead and I whisk everything or mix everything whichever you want to say um, right I don't I try my best not to do this when it's like super super hard so I leave it out for about like 10 minutes so it can soften up but sometimes the edges are still a little bit hard and then it gets this um, gets this creamy consistency I want to mention in this video that these are not whipped body butters so they're not gonna look like the fluffy thick um, whipped body butters that you guys see these are just regular cream based body butters um, they're creamy they're soft they're subtle and it's really just like a body butter and this is because I did a formula that was whipped before and the cocoon butter that I use, it's a very, very hard butter. So the ratio of cocoon butter and sunflower oil was just completely off and it was just more butter than sunflower oil. And I was getting a very hard butter and I really didn't like that. So I decided to change the formula and I decided to add more sunflower oil and when i added more sunflower oil um it did loosen the consistency but i enjoyed the final i enjoyed the consistency of the final product because it does harden up once it is in the containers and they have set for a little bit it does harden up but it's not super 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 hard like the first consistency of the whipped body butter that i did um, so these are just regular body butters. They're not whipped. They're just regular body butters with cocoon butter, mango butter, and then the sunflower oil. And then I also add fragrances. If you guys are interested in trying my different fragrances, right now I have the tropical beach that I'm making right now. I have cherry almond. I have warm vanilla. I have salted caramel. And then I also have the scent free option. If you guys are interested, the link will be down in the description box below. So like I said, it makes a thicker but a looser consistency body butter. And then it firms up in about 10 minutes. It'll firm up. 10 or 20 minutes, it'll firm up completely. And I really love this formula because it's smooth. It melts into the skin when you're using it. It's easy to travel with. It doesn't, it doesn't thick, like it doesn't clump up on your skin. It's like the best formula that I could have I, I could have created. It's amazing. I love this formula. Hi everyone. I'm back. I got a lot of work to do. So tonight is Friday night. It is 6:49. I'm going to try to edit a video because i have a video that i need to edit and then i'm also gonna try to do some admin work and do some labels i have to finish my brand ambassador contract and then because i have i have some brand ambassadors so i have to um 
get their stuff together. I already have like a file for um, them. I already have like a file for a few of them. So I'm trying to like get a, get their files in check and I'm trying to like make sure that I have all the items and then get the items to send them out next week. So there's like a bunch of things happening and I'm super, 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 super excited, you guys. I'm super excited. There's so much to do. My hair, my hair is like all crazy right now. There's so much to do. There's so much work to do. Um, but we're going to get it done. And um, I also have to do a lot of like computer work. Let me put you guys here. Hold on. This is probably like a weird angle, but... Um... Okay, so I also have to do a lot of computer work, like admin work. So I have to do... Um a lot of sorting organizing different stuff like that i have the dog and the cat right now so i have to walk the dog and i have to feed both of them later on but i have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna try my best to do what i can do i'm gonna get my um planner let me get my planner i got my planner um i have you guys like on my laptop right now so this is the planner that i got it's from 2023 to 2024 so this is the planner that I got um, and I've been using it a lot lately. I've been using this planner a lot. I have, when I say I have so much work to do, I have a prophetic word to record and get out. I have stuff for my other, my other projects that I'm doing. I have stuff to do for my business that I'm doing. Um, I have like a lot of stuff. I'm going to be super, super busy this weekend. Um, and I don't feel like I really like filled my calendar this week because I was just so busy. So Saturday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to try my best to fill up the to do list, get as much stuff as I possibly can done, done, and then get a lot of stuff done for the business. Um, and I want to like record more content because I, ha I have to record more content like it's necessary i gotta record more content so i'm gonna try my best to record more content um right now i'm gonna try to get this done this like top priorities and try to get the stuff done that i possibly can get done and then i'll come back i'll like come back to talk to you guys give me any how you feel i'm on my you make my head to swell i'm making my feet sweat baby love me gently baby kiss me Bonjour, bonjour. Welcome back. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you guys how I do some labels. Okay, so I made these tropical beach body butters that you guys saw previously. I made these body butters and now I need to make some labels for them. Um, oh my gosh, this is falling everywhere. So now I need to make some labels for them. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my labels. Um, and then I also need to make another batch of a body butter. I don't know if I'm going to do, I need to do warm vanilla. So I only have two warm vanillas left. Yeah, I only have two warm vanillas left. So I need to do another batch size for warm vanilla. What else needs to be restocked on the shelf? I'm trying to see because i'm also doing like i'm doing this like challenge so i'm gonna do like 30 days of me um posting my content until all my stuff is sold out and when i say sold out like i have stuff on my shelf already right now and i have stuff that sold but i also have um i also have like bags of stuff like this that have been sanitized and I have a, like another big bag underneath the table that have been sanitized and stuff. So I wanna get rid of 
all of that stuff so that I can start buying more stuff, start buying new stuff for the new year. Um, I'm going to get rid of all the, um, all the inventory that I had created from December and the beginning of January. I want to get rid of that um, soon. So I'm doing that little challenge every day for 30 days. I'm going to be posting and um, promoting. So yeah, I have to make another body butter for the warm vanilla. The warm vanilla is such, uh, such a good scent. I love it. I might have to, um, I might have to steal one of these and just have one on the show so that, because I've been using my tropical beach and then my, um, my cherry almond one. I've been using my cherry almond one, but I think I might have to go ahead and steal one of these and then just leave one on the shelf and whoever gets it, gets it like, honestly. So yeah, I have to fix up my shelf after I do some products. I have to fix up my shelf and then, um, I have to also, I have to also write down a new video and then um, I have to write down a new video, write down all my ideas so that I can go ahead and record it either Wednesday or no, I'm going to record this video actually Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow. I'm going to record this video tomorrow. So I have to just write down all my stuff for the video, record it tomorrow. I have to finish my brand ambassador contract because I got some new girls. So um, I have to finish that up and then email them. I have to email them that and then tomorrow i'm really supposed to do this tonight but i know that i have too much on my plate right now so tomorrow i'm gonna pack up the brand ambassador um the brand ambassador trial kit items i'm gonna pack those up put some labels on everything and then send those out monday or tuesday and then um and then after that it will just be me starting on soaps because I really want to start on soaps for you guys. So I'm going to start on soaps and then I have some other stuff on here, but it's like I have like a, another cleanser that I want to do. I put body butters because I have to make those body butters. Um, I have to make um, the warm vanilla body butters and I think I have to do cherry almond too. The cherry almond, I only have three left of the cherry almond. Yeah, I only have three left of the cherry almond i'm trying to look at my shelf to see what i need so i only have three left of the cherry almond um i have to go through my shelf and update the inventory so that the website matches my inventory right now and um because i will be sending some stuff out to the girls um for my brand ambassadors so it's gonna mess up my inventory so i definitely have to go back in and do like a recount of everything and also i wanted to do this new thing where i have my inventory like i have my inventory um on like my system like on the computer but i also wanted to have my inventory um my inventory like printed out from my my own personal logs but i think i might just do the computer and just call it a day i might just like put it on an excel spreadsheet and just call it a day because usually that's how i keep up with all my stuff like on a spreadsheet but um but I don't know. I'm a paper girl. I like having like the stuff, the manila folders. Like I had, I like having my stuff, you know, like that. Um, but we're going to get started. We're going to get started because I only have like four hours to do so much stuff. Like probably like five hours, but mm, like four hours, four, four or five hours to do all this stuff. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these labels really, really quickly. The process is very quick. This is a inkjet printer. If you don't know, you can use these printers to print out stickers and stuff. So I have this matte sheet that I got from Amazon, this matte sticker sheet that I got from Amazon, and this self-adhesive laminating sheet I also got from Amazon. I just go ahead and I take the sticker sheet, I add it to my printer, and I add the paper face down, and then I go ahead and I create my label. So these labels are already created design your labels using either canva or pick monkey and then i go ahead and i download it once it is downloaded i add it to either pages or a word document i'm using like this windows i don't know what it's called but it's like an alternative to windows office um 
I don't know, application. And then I go ahead and I just add the labels on there. I'm usually able to do nine labels to a sheet. Um, I might go back, I might go back and um, fix my labels a little bit so I can make them smaller. So I'm able to do about like 10 to a sheet. But for the most part, I'm able to do nine to a sheet. I go ahead and I print this out on the sticker paper that we added into the printer before once everything is aligned properly and then um, I take the sheet and then I go ahead and I add the laminating self adhesive sheet on top of this you guys please be very careful when you're doing this because it took me a while to do this at first it took me a while to get good at doing this and make sure that the sticker paper is clean underneath because once you add the self at um, the laminating paper on there there's no going back so I just use this ruler thing that I have I use this ruler thing and then I just use it as a guide to smooth out the laminating sheet on top of the sticker paper sheet. And you will see the finished product when I'm done. But it basically creates a laminated sticker for you, basically. So it, it creates a glossy finish, but the backside is also still a sticker. So it's the perfect, like, quick and easy and affordable label maker um, and then I just go ahead and I use this paper cutter this paper cutter and I just go ahead and I cut the labels to the perfect size to fit my body butters and for the most part I will do a few of these when I know I'm creating a lot of body butters or products I'll do a few of them and then I'll just save them until I'm ready to create products but these are the stickers you guys, don't forget that my website will be linked down in the description box below. And if you're interested in seeing more business vlogs, just let me know. I love you guys. Bye.